So this is a look at our trip to the fine art market entitled Curiosity. I DM'd Sean the event ad and with some, you know, heavy convincing, he eventually agreed. So we headed to Anchorage, located in Chagramas, to go check out the fine art market. Now, the works displayed by these talented artists were absolutely amazing. We saw many displays of landscapes, mixed media, acrylic pouring, and portraits of like all kinds. It was very much a rewarding experience. A mixture of expressionism and impressionism from many of the artists. And we eventually came to the conclusion that these artists are absolute hidden treasures in our culture. One of these artists that we visited, her black and white illustration was one of our personal favorites. Oh yes, there were free sorrel wine samples. Locally produced by the way. Sean was very much impressed with the taste. I had to drive so I couldn't take any samples. Anyway, we caught up with one of the artists. Her brand was by Jaye. Her perspectives were intriguing. It kind of moves the observer to really think about what they are seeing. Many of her illustrations have very, very much unique names. So that guy with the palm trees, it's literally called Face Palm. <laughs> but she was kind enough to give us a few moments of her time to chat. So check it out. Hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Jaye, and today I am presenting my artistry by Jaye here at the Fine Art Market. It's been a lovely day. I've been showcasing my work. I have prints available framed. I have originals available framed. Been connecting with different artists, been connecting with different art collectors, and now I'm connecting with you. So with my artistry, I tend to gravitate to more of a surreal style, right? It allows me to be able to blend different themes together to, you know, um, put contrasting ideas into one composition. So it doesn't have to be too literal. So even though it's a landscape, I might, you know, place a woman in the trees or, you know, have something else blending in the background or maybe the scene opens up to reveal something else. So it really gives me room to express myself more instead of being confined to just recreating something literally. Now I get to add my imagination to it or I get to add my perspective on how I interpret a scenery or how I interpret something that I'm feeling and how to express that. Guiltily, I tend to be my own muse. Not necessarily, you know, I guess it is on purpose, but more so I think it's easy for me to express what I'm experiencing. So a lot of my art pieces do have a feminine perspective. You know, they um, do have a personal perspective. Um, so I do tend to be my own muse, but also kind of incorporating how different environments can influence you know, me and then also how it can influence other people. Because even though I might be the muse in a piece, someone else would still be able to resonate with it because of its abstract, you know, flair. It's not too literal, so they can kind of see themselves in it. Even if I was the intended muse, they can still, you know, be able to envision themselves in that piece or resonate with the same emotion that went into creating the piece. I don't feel limited by it. If anything, I think it gives me an opportunity to explore a bit. So yes, it would still be in my style. It would still have my flair to it because I'm creating it, but it allows me to now envision somebody else's perspective or to be able to understand what they're trying to express and give myself that challenge in trying to tap into where their headspace might be at and you know, um, it, it allows me to connect better with people also because now I kind of have to understand what you're describing to then be able to portray that, yes? And for the second question, you know, if someone has ever come to me to create something that isn't my usual, that does happen. I think sometimes um, people like something that you've done 
but they want something particular to them. Um, and I like that challenge because it helps you push past your comfort zone and helps you push past those boundaries. And it helps you explore different ways that you can create something using what you already do, using what you already understand, maybe your style, maybe your technique, but now it helps you push the envelope a little bit and step outside of your regular box to really explore something that you wouldn't have considered doing on your own if they didn't come to you and you know tell you to try something different so i'm always down to exploring different artistries and kind of pushing my artistry so i wouldn't shy away from that <laughs>